Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nan's Hidden Apron. I want to do a cookie, a very quick cookie, a three ingredient peanut butter cookie. Let's get started. I already have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And uh, here we've got uh, three ingredients. It's one egg, which I'm going to whisk just a little bit. One cup of brown sugar. You can use brown spur sweetener if you want to. I don't have enough to make it to make my cookies, or I would. That's what I would be using. Just give it just a little little whisk and one cup of peanut butter you can use any peanut butter you want um, I have found that using the Walmart brand peanut butter uh, makes a really good cookie I, I'm, I'm a GIF person typically but this peanut butter works really good with cookies and we're going to do a full cup so that's one egg, one cup of brown sugar, or brown swerf sweetener, your choice, one cup of peanut butter. All right. And we're just going to put this, oh looky, I get to lick my finger. <laughs> just get this in here. All of it. Well, as much as you can get. You can always spray your measuring cup with some nonstick spray if you want to when you're do, using peanut butter or um, honey. It works good. Okay. Let's just get this off of here. All right. And I did go ahead and cover my pan with parchment paper. You don't have to, but I did. less of a mess. <laughs> yeah. Let me get all this sugar out from between here because we need that. Um, depending on your oven, you want to cook these either nine to ten minutes. Make sure you don't overbake them, though. Uh, Start out with eight if you need to. I'm going to try nine, but don't go over ten. It'll make your cookies too hard if you do, and we don't want that. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to make sure this is mixed up really good. You can put some vanilla in here if you want to. It won't be a three ingredient cookie anymore, but <laughs> it'll make them taste a little better, I think. All right, there we go. Now, wipe off my mess. And uh, let me get my cookie scoop. I'm going to use a small one. I don't know what the number is, y'all. <laughs> I can't see it to tell you. No, can't see it. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. I'm waiting for my oven to heat up, so. You make them bigger if you want to. I just want to go with the smaller one. These, my grandbabies really do like peanut butter. And so, these are, are as much for them as for anyone. And when they're young, they need small cookies, not big ones. And you can make them bigger if you want to now. You can use a, a tablespoon size if you want. Of course, you're not going to be able to put as many on a pan. Aha, just in time, I believe. number of cookies perfect amount one um, one pan and look one bowl 
Now, there is one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit more on that one. And a little bit more on this one. Just so we use all the dough. One more thing I'm going to do. Now, you can use sugar on your fork. You don't have to put anything on it. I'm using water. You know that a peanut butter cookie has to have the signature mark, right? You see something with those marks on it, you know, typically somebody's been making some peanut butter cookies. So, and, you know, you can just put water on it. It's not adding any calories to it when you do it like that. And uh, just give them a little push down. If it starts sticking, then just dip your fork in the water again. Again, you don't want to bake these too long. I think I'm actually going to start with eight minutes because I made these uh, real small. So I think I'm going to do eight. And then we'll just kind of look uh, for them to start. It's just, just a very, very light uh, crisp on the edges is what you're looking for. Just a very light brown along the edges of the cookie. All right. Now, let's get these in the oven. And I'll be right back with you soon as they're done. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you will. Click the subscription button and this notification bell over here. That way you'll know each time I put new content on. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Click the thumbs up for me. Or if you tried this recipe, let me know in the comment section below. There we go. Three ingredient peanut butter cookies. And I did let mine cook for the full 10 minutes in my oven. Now we're just going to let it sit over here and cool down. And then we'll put them on a plate. And I leave them stored out on the counter. You can put them in the refrigerator if you want to. But I think if you just put them on the counter in an airtight container, it's perfectly fine. But you all take care and uh, enjoy these cookies. We'll see you next time. Bye.